What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRV territory, it's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Sarah? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access and was streaming a lot of data through it shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. My memories are none of your damn business, Taggart. Did I hit a nerve? Forgive me. It's my nature as a psychologist, I suppose, to want to ask the difficult questions. You see, I find that ignoring them doesn't make them go away. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me, I'm curious about something, Mr. Taggart. What is it you hope to accomplish by coming here tonight? I would think that would be obvious. Your company has been viciously targeted. The violence and bloodshed that's occurred, it, it must be stopped. But I'm afraid it won't be until men of wisdom and understanding come to an agreement. About what? About the future, Mr. Jensen. This enhancement technology threatens to change the course of human evolution, to redefine what it even means to be human. Do you think governments can afford to let that go unregulated? You can't stop progress, Mr. Taggart. Perhaps not. But neither can we afford to sit by and watch it happen on its own. Not when we have the ability, the collective will, and foresight to influence it. I see. Thank you for illuminating me. Time. I'm glad we had a chance to talk, Mr. Jensen. Meeting you has been very informative. Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. 
Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? Like <laughs> what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh, I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now, but he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. But there's something you're not getting here, Adam. Business is war with no clear battleground and no rules to keep our enemies honest. In this company, I'm the commander-in-chief, and I have to be ready for anything, and I will do anything to ensure that I am. Now, I hired you because I needed a general I could trust, one who knows how to obey orders. I think I proved myself today. And the only reason I'm worried about that loophole right now is because the data you streamed through it could have been accessed, backtraced, and stolen by the men who attacked us. Our enemies might still find a way to hurt us with it. I wasn't criticizing you, Adam. But I suppose you raise a good point. Your concerns about the data being compromised won't really be an issue as long as we stay strong and work together as a team. That's all I've ever tried to do here. Find the best, most qualified people I can and bring them all together so they can complement each other. Now, Megan understood that. That's why she suggested I hire you in the first place. To help this little family of ours survive. Megan? Boss, what does Megan have to do with any of this? I thought we were discussing a security breach. She doesn't. I mean, I, I mean not, not directly. The data I streamed had nothing to do with Megan or her work. It was just a routine fact-finding check that sprang from one of our discussions, the kind of check I have to run quite often around here, believe it or not. Now, if somebody backtraces the transmission and gets a look at it, I very much doubt they'll know what to do with it. Trust me, we're fine. Boss, six months ago, mercenaries knew stuff about this company that I didn't and used it to get past my security measures. I don't really care what kind of secrets you and Megan were keeping back then. I just want to make sure they don't endanger us again. Adam, I didn't mean to imply 
You're right, okay? You're right. I, I really shouldn't keep this information from you. I just hope you'll understand why I did. All right. Look, the truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. You know, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look, I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move.